Hey everybody, happy whatever day it is. I've lost track, I'm sure you have too. Quarantine life. Also, my hair is weird today. That's what happens on days sometimes. Today, I really felt like doing a craft, as you know I love crafting, but I also know that you all love juggling, as do I. So I thought, why not try to combine juggling and crafting into one ultra awesome video? So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try to make some sort of juggling inspired art on my Glowforge, my laser cutter. I'm gonna take you through that whole process of designing it and cutting it and then painting it and putting it all together and it's gonna be fine. Nothing's gonna go wrong, it's gonna be great. Let's do it. So here's my basic idea. I'm gonna do an outline of a juggling club and then I'm going to have a bunch of circles overlapping in the middle and then I'm going to cut out the circles so that you see a nice bright color underneath. This is a really bad drawing. It'll look better when it's done, I promise. All right, I've got this very impressive drawing once again. Now I just have to put it on the computer. First up, I gotta find an image of a juggling club. The problem with juggling club images is they usually look like this, which is sort of a type of juggling club, but not what my juggling clubs look like and not what most modern juggling clubs look like. This one's not bad. Somebody actually made a juggling club SVG. That's so weird. I think I should just buy this one. <laughs> Copy all these pieces. I'm gonna put them here. Whoa, way bigger. Shrink it that stuff it down. That is a club. If I ever saw one, and I have, I've seen many clubs. Pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. Next up, let's turn these all into strokes so that they're lines instead of fills. Look at how cool that looks. Yeah. Mm. We've got our juggling club. Let's add the circles in there. So I'm just gonna start doing circles and see what happens. I don't know how many is too many, but we're gonna, we're gonna do a bunch. It might be too many. So basically, I want this outside to be solid. Like it's gonna be the top layer. And then we're gonna cut out stuff so that the underneath is like a second layer that's colored. It's gonna be very pretty. So we're gonna get rid of everything that is outside of the club because that's going to be, like we're creating a silhouette of the club, basically. I've never done this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. So then the idea is that certain pieces will be part of that same top layer and then certain pieces are gonna get cut out. Which pieces are which is a good question. <laughs> this one? We'll just work our way up like a puzzle. There we have it. That's our piece of art. It's weird, that's for sure, but I like it. I like the idea of it. It's like a juggling club, but it is filled in by juggling balls. Yeah, it's deep. So technically now all I gotta do is print it, except then it's gonna print a lot of these empty pieces. And that's gonna be frustrating because then I'm gonna have to like glue the pieces in. How do I fix that? So I could try to connect all the white pieces. That would solve my problem. Every piece is connected in some way, I think. The more I look at it, the more I don't like it, but I think I should just go for it. At the very least, it's a first try, right? That's what matters. So all the black lines will be cut, the red line will be a score line, and that's it. This is where stuff gets exciting. So I've got my big piece of wood. To be most efficient with the um, amount of wood that I use, I think I might try to do half and half. So I'll have the cutout of the wood of the club on one side and then I'll color the other side and then lay them on top of each other. I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. It's so cool, look. It looks enough like a juggling club that it's cool. 
hopefully. I did mess up the edge. It ended up cutting instead of scoring those, um, I'm guessing, because somehow I had doubled up the lines. But oh well, got my front piece and my back piece. I'm gonna paint this piece and then put this on top and it'll be really nice. And I'll probably, I'm gonna stain this and clean it up. I think it's gonna look really good. So let's put it together. Hey, it's pretty good. I think so. Yeah. First off, I think I'm gonna try to stain this piece. I have an English chestnut and then I've got a golden oak. I don't know which looks best on this wood because every wood is a little different. I'm going to do a little test on the back and see which one's better. English chestnut, golden oak. While I'm doing these fun tests, I might as well test out the paint color that I want and see which looks the best. Ooh, this is a pretty color. I'm gonna do this blue next to this one or this one. The darker is better. Sorry, golden oak, you have been eliminated. You're the weakest link. we have it. There's our top piece. I haven't tested this idea before. It's just something that I saw in my head. So we'll see <laughs> if it works. Oh, so much pressure. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Yes. This piece should stay fine. Push. There it is. I really like the effect of like the bright color underneath the wood. I love the depth of it. I just really like it. I think it's gonna look great hung up on a wall somewhere. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun project and I'm so glad I got to share it with you. If you're interested in getting a Glowforge, make sure that you click the link in my description so that you can get monies off. I'm also gonna start selling these Juggling Club art pieces online. There's a link in the description. So if you thought this was pretty cool, you can go do that. Not only do you get cool art, but it will help me out as well. And I can make it in whatever color you want. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> I also wanna make more juggling inspired art as well as the other hobbies I do like Kendama. So if you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this one and I'll see you next time. Where's the paint bucket tool? There's a paint bucket tool in all the other programs. Where's the paint bucket?